literally paved with agents trying to spot the next big thing. The new black. Scylla Black. There were a few of us at the time, of course, Dusty, Sandy Shaw, and then of course young Lulu, you know, she was a baby when she came along. Lulu was just 19 when Braden interviewed her. She'd already had a number one song in the US and two top ten hits here. Love, 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 love. Look back 40 years. I'm not very good at looking back. <gasps> Relax. <laughs> now, how did the name Lulu come about? Well, that was my manager Marion's decision. <laughs> it's so odd watching yourself. She sort of discovered me in Glasgow in a small club where I used to sing at the weekends when I wasn't at school. Who are you with that accent, Ian? <laughs> I was 14 at the time, and uh, she came into the club with her husband, and they were talking about me, and she sort of said that I was a Lulu of a kid. And the name just seemed to stick, and uh, it's been very successful. Looking at me now, I was very deliberately, very sort of middle class, which is just not me, not me at all. So this part of me, I thought, oh, you know, so young and trying to get it you know, rights and it was sweet, it made me sad. In 1968, Lulu became the youngest star to host her own show on BBC One. Who's the person whose opinion matters to you most at home? Mother, your father? I, th I think my mother, I think she's the one who deserves it more than anybody else, because she's been so wonderful to me. I mean, you, I'll never repay her for anything she's ever done for me. So I think if I can give her a little bit of happiness, if she really is pleased, I think that's everything. It was insane, you know, to think that I was I came from Glasgow, I came from working, really working class family. Um, and then the next minute I'm sort of, have a number one record in America. I have worked with the Rolling Stones and the Beatles and have my own television series every week. My manager wanted to broaden, you know, my career. She didn't just want me to be a pop singer. So then I would sing standards on television because I knew them from my childhood and I loved them. But my heart and soul was really always in that slightly rocky, slightly R&B edgy music. So what happened was I sort of lost my musical path in a way. But to have that wide appeal was a very smart move for a manager. When I go on stage, it's, I, I don't know, it's, it's a, the most fantastic thing. I think my mother once said once, if I couldn't sing, she thinks I'd die. When I go on stage and I see an audience and I work with them and I work towards them, because it's the people I love, you see, I become alive. And I can come off and I can go, Ugh, and I go straight to bed. But when I go on stage, I seem to lose all my nerves and I just become me. It was partly a dream. In fact, it was probably all a bit of a dream. And I was trying to hold it together. And that's what I sense. I'm trying to move on in all different ways. And I think by the end of, if I'm lucky enough to have a long career, I would like to do all different kinds of things. I wasn't going back to Glasgow, so I was holding on. I was trying to find a way to. And I had a lot of good people around me too, so that's it's not that I was on my own. Although I often felt on my own. I felt on my own. When you're alone and life is making you lonely, you can always go. I want to get married, and I want to have lots of kids, and I want to be with my husband, and I, I don't want to get divorced. And uh, I want to spend a lot of time, but at the same time, I want to have a career. I just don't know. I think 
If I start worrying about that now, I'll be in a terrible state. I wanted loads of children. That didn't happen. And I, if I get married, I don't want to get divorced. And that didn't happen. I did get divorced. I got married twice. But, you know, you have your ups and downs and your disappointments and, you know, all, all the time, especially in this business, I think, more than any other business. <gasps> if I met that young girl now, I would be so protective of her. Um, and I think probably what made me feel sad was I saw that's kind of to be so young. It's, it's a hard place to be. Lulu was cool enough to hang around with the long-haired, snake-hipped heroes like the Rolling Stones. 60s mythology tells us they defined the era. 